Well, today I'm out looking for sulfides. I've been here before at this spot and I found um, sulfides in, in rock. Um, some of it's good ore that the, the um, old timers have left behind that they've been mining. So, anyway, today I'll be looking for sulfides. I'll be taking them home, crushing them up, and possibly I'll have to roast it because the gold is uh, trapped in the sulfide. So, same as my other video, so I'll have to um, roast it and then um, pan it out or run it over my miller table to, uh, to get the gold. Yeah, that's only going to be real super fine gold. Okay, guys, stay with me and thanks for watching. I just found this piece of uh, rock. This is um, iron, looks like iron, iron stone or um, hematite. And then right alongside it, there's this rock here, which is, um, that's uh, uh, um, solid mineral, it's iron pyrites, and it's been, um, it's been weathered out. But I'm still going to take it, I'm going to take that because it'll have a lot of um, pyrites, and it, what pyrites have weathered away, they leave behind metals like gold and silver and copper so that's what I've been looking for today I've been looking for this type of uh, rock I found this this is a big piece this is the stuff I'm looking for it's um it's um iron pyrites and it's just rotted away basically see how it's all going rusty yeah so this is what I was looking for I knew it was here I'd found it here before um, but what happens is the pyrites it ox oxidizes and rusts away but it leaves behind metals like gold silver copper that sort of stuff um, yeah so I've come out today to, to uh, get some of this material and I take it home and crush it and pan it out all that sort of thing I might have to roast it the soul if I get any sulfides that yellow there that's the sulfur that's um, oxidized out of the sulfides yeah cool this is a nice big chunk the old timers um, mined out a vein out of here and that's that um, sulfides I've been finding that they've left behind and there was a vein in here that mined out and just around the corner here is their tailings this is all that what I'm standing on now it's all this is all their tailings all here and I have found um, rocks here with uh, small amounts of sulfides in and just in here in this corner it looks like they've taken something out of here as well maybe there was another sulfide vein in here that they've uh, yeah they've mined out yeah all interesting stuff the last winter rains have been washing down over this this rock it's like a waterfall and they've been washing down here I've just noticed in the pool of water here, I hope you can see that, um, there's a big hole. There's a big hole down in there. There's a big piece of bedrock along there, and then in front of the bedrock, there's a big deep hole. Uh, it's where the water's been eroding and wa washing out all the fines, and just left a big hole there. So um, I'll come back in the summer, or this summer, when this uh, this is all dried out and then I'll, I'll dig down in there and uh, if there's any gold here it'll be there it'll be down in that hole at least I'll be able to get to the bottom G'day guys I'm back home this is the um, ore that I brought home this is that um, um, sulfides uh, or it's uh, decomposed I'll give you a closer look 
as you can see it's gone all rusty that's the um, sulfides yeah as I explained before the sulfides are all um, weathered out of the rock yeah and they leave all the metals behind so anyway so the plan is I'm going to crush all this up I just left it out on the table so it could dry out because it was a bit still a bit damp so I've left it to dry out I'll crush it up and um, then I'll pan it and I'll try and separate the metals or the sulfides that are left in the rock I'll try and separate them from the gang material okay I'll get back to you Okay, there's one bucket, one little bucket full crushed ore, which uh, next I'll set up the, um, the pan and the water tub and I'll pan this out. Okay, here we are with the first pan, Let's see how we go with this stuff. And um, once again, if there is gold in this material, it's only going to be super fine stuff. If any, if any gold, the um, the gold might be still locked up in the sulfides. Although most of the sulfides have um, have broken down. Just put some clean water in here, guys. Just kind of back. See if there's anything here. It's really hard to see if there is anything it's it's that fine it's going to be a jeweler's loop i can see a few sparkles in there but i don't really know what they are until i look under the jeweler's loop yeah it's just in the pan here you won't be able to see anything um i'll get back to this when i do another pan Well that's pretty much it guys, um, I didn't pan out all of it, I've still got this, I've still got about uh, a good half bucket, good half, three quarters of a bucket there, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it all up and uh, and I'm going to run it over the miller table, I'll do another video running it over my miller table, because there's a lot of fine gold in it, uh, there's fine gold and fine copper a mixture in it so i'll do another video um of me running this material over the uh, miller table anyway thanks for watching guys and take care and i'll see you on the next one